hello and welcome in this video we are going to be writing a shell program to find the factorial of a number and we are going to be using the vim editor so to get started we first of all have to open our vim open our file in the vim editor so in this case the command will be vim then the name of the file in this case i want our file to be called factorial.sh so i'm going to write the name of the file factorial.sh that's the name of the file notice that if the file has not yet been created then by default the vim editor will create the file for you and open the file but if the file has been created then the file is just going to be open in the vim editor so i'm going to go ahead and press enter and now the file has been created now we are in the vim editor so to get started we first of all have to we first of all have to press the key i to enter into insert mode so once you see insert down here it means you are in insert mode and now you can start writing in the vim editor so now that we are in insert mode let's start writing our program what we want to do is to find the factorial of a number so factorial factorial of a number so to begin first we want to get the number from the user so to get the number from the user we are going to use the echo command to send out a prompt which is going to ask the user to enter a number so first we will say echo enter a number and then once we receive this number using the read command we want to store it in a variable called n so the enter a number will tell the user enter a number and then the read command would will now show a prompt where the user will enter the number and store the number in a variable called n once we get the number then we we want to check if the number that's if n is greater than zero if n is greater than zero then we want to now perform our actions else we want to print echo enter a positive integer and then we end the if loop so what really is going on here is first of all after we get the number we have to check if the number is greater than zero since we cannot check the factorial of a negative number so we have to check if the number is greater than zero and if the number is greater than zero then our actions will be performed else we are going to tell the user to enter a positive integer since we cannot calculate the factorial of a negative integer so now in the then block let us now write our logic so first we need a variable i for iteration and we initialize it to one and then next we need a variable f which we will initialize as well to one f here is going to refer to factorial we are going to be using the while loop and the logic will be as follows while while i is less than or equal to n while i is less than or equals to n then we want to do we want to do f that's factorial will be equals to expression factorial times i okay so so while i is less than n less than or equals to n 
we want to do factorial equal to expression factorial times i and then after that we want to increment i so it'll be i equal to expression i plus one and then by this we are finished with our logic so once we are done with our logic we have to close the while loop so we write done and then below that we have to print our output so to print the output use the echo command echo factorial factorial of number that's in this case n is f so in this case the factorial of our number is then we print out the factorial so let me explain through the program first we send out a prompt letting the user know that they have to enter a number once we receive the number we store it in the variable n and then once we have received the number we now check if the number is greater than or equals to zero then we want to perform the action but if the number is not that's else we want to tell the user to enter a positive integer since we cannot find the factorial of a negative number so if the number is greater than zero then we want to perform our operation in this case we have a variable i which is initialized to one which we are going to use for the iteration and we have f which represents our factorial in this case so while i is less than n then we want to do factorial equals to expression factorial times i then we want to increment i so i will be incremented and then we close our then once we are done the loop will be closed done and then we print our output factorial of the number is then the factorial okay so once we are done to exit vim you press the escape key to go from insert mode back to command mode and once you are in command mode you then type the command colon w cure this colon w cure means save and exit so colon w cure to save and exit and then press enter and now you are back to your terminal so once you're in your terminal in order to execute the file you have to use bash to execute the file so to execute this file you use the bash command you say bash and the file which you want to execute is factorial.sh and then you press enter so you will see here it is asking me enter a number so I'm going to say 5 and I'll press enter and it says factorial of 5 is 120 so as you can see our program is now working correct correctly we can find the factorial of any number we want using the shell script so let's run the program again F bash factorial dot sh enter it says enter a number so the number i want to enter in this case is 10 and i press enter so it says the factorial of 10 is 300 and um, 3,628,800 so that is the factorial of 10